Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to Just In Time Let's Plays. I am Justin, and this is Final Fantasy XII Revenant Wings on the DS. Last time we defeated Ifrit, gained a greenstone treasure of some sort, and lost our airship, but then we found a new airship, and in this episode we are going to try to board that airship and take it for ourselves. Let's begin. See, there are a few guards over there. Wonder what they're talking about. Ah. Ah, so she was being a spy. Aha. Uh -huh. So there are thieves on board the ship. Now we're going to try to hop on that ship. Yep, we're gonna go steal that ship. Yeah, kites. Alright then, and that ship is huge. <laughs> yeah. Pinello never likes it when he does stuff if you haven't figured that out. Alright. This actually isn't too bad. We just pretty much figure out a safe way to do this. Oh yeah, we are probably going to have to go through a tutorial about gambits in this episode. Ah. <sighs> Here we go. So we got the Gambit dual attack after the last episode, and it pretty much does what you would think it would do. And I hope you would think that's attack them twice, and basically do twice as much damage. Alright, let's do that. Actually, let's add it to our Gambit, and then just attack them. Because if you have it set as your gambit, they will use it whenever it can be used. And right there. Yes, when you have it set as your gambit, he will use it automatically. Okay, and now let's get these guys going. Man, they walk so slow. Okay, here we go. I'm glad it does that. Alright. See, he has Fyraga already, and that is a gigantic spell. Alright, we'll just change that to his Gambit for now. And... There we go. Perfect. It is a very good spell. But there's Blizzaga and Sundaga, so... We'll get those eventually, too. Okay... Oh wait, let's go over here. Actually, no, we don't need them. Okay. We have to go through these guys. But that's fine. Yeah, it's basically telling you what I just told you about the gambits. Yep. You select them on there. You change the gambit, and she'll automatically use it. Gambits become very useful later in the game, and right now, as you can see, you can take out a lot at once. Alright, that's pretty much it. Um, I really don't need to fight them at the moment. I should just finish this. 
I think in the future I'm going to do all my training mostly off screen and we'll just do the main story quests and other important quests missions and cuz I can always just show you other stuff later if you want but really the side quests are just hunts and stuff All right. And now back. So we are inside the derelict ship. And it doesn't really look like a ship when you're in the inside. It looks more like a city. It is very large. So Okay. I think we're going to learn about espers now. Okay. That is a summoning gate. And it's going to tell us that, of course, but... And those are not very... This is actually really easy, actually, but... After it is a bit difficult, if you don't know how to take care of it. Alright. I'm just going to move them all together. And... just go down one single file line because that's the easiest way to do this. Just do it all together, and it isn't that difficult. Alright. And that takes them. Takes care of them. I'm pretty sure... I have to defeat all enemies, right? If I don't, well, then I just did something really stupid. No, wait, no. Here, I'm going to just send Vaughn over here to defeat her and examine that. Alright. And that should be it. Alright, yeah, that was what we had to do. Once we get over there, we examine it. They're looking at it. Vaughn doesn't know what it is. Oh. That stone we got earlier is reacting to it. Now we have a summoning gate. To be quite honest, we're going pretty quickly through this. I expected this to take a bit longer. Alright, now we're all three gonna... Okay, when you have people selected, you can go and capture a summoning gate. Kind of like capturing a resource outpost in another kind of strategy game. That's pretty much what it is. You capture it, and then you can use it to summon the espers. Like that. Okay, this is really... See, you summon, and you can summon whatever you want for the guy. In this case, I'm going to summon two ranged espers, and summon for Vaughn two all runs. Because he's going to need one. If you don't know what comes up next, it's a probably the first difficult battle, if it's not really that difficult, but in terms of what we've done so far, it's a lot more difficult than this. Yep, now we can have espers. Hmm, okay. 
Okay. Alright, so he will go with his espers and take out the range. And then there's the flying, which I will send everyone else to go do. Yeah, he'll take care of them. Um, let's just go take out these guys. There's no real need for... At this point in the game, the espers are so low level that... They go down pretty simply. It's not hard. Alright, now we have espers. Alright, we're at 11 minutes. We can probably finish this up. Alright, mission complete. Actually, I think I will do one more mission. And we should be good. I will try to speed through this mission. Because I don't want to leave y'all there with only like 11 minutes. Yeah, we'll try to finish this up real quick. I've only got a few minutes to do it, but that's fine. Alright, so... Let's do this one more mission. There's Pinello and... Man, what was his name? I think Bosch. Yeah, I think that's it. That would make sense to me. Hmm, I wonder what they're doing. And she's gonna think that was Savan. <laughs> All right, we are at the bridge. My favorite guy in the whole world. Who I will call Lizard Man. Don't call a banga a lizard, Koopo. But you know, he deserves it. He is. Oh yeah, they're cool. Oh, now we're back here. Great. See, why do they always get cornered? I mean, they were already here. They should know it's a dead end. And these guys are actually pretty powerful, and that is why this is a more difficult fight.
trying to leave. Alright then. Run away! Alright then. Let's do this and finish it up. Alright, first I gotta figure out what they are. That is the main thing. Okay. Melee, ranged, melee. So we got one ranged. And then a bunch of melee. Yeah, we got three melee and one ranged. Alright, that is how we're going to deal with this. Oh, come on now. And summon a bunch of flying. Alright. Dang, that was close. Alright, I need Vaughn to stay away. See, this is actually pretty difficult. Um, I've got the flying going though, so this is going pretty well. Let's see how this goes. I think we just took out the ranged guy. Yeah, okay, they're not dead though, they're just hurt. Alright, everyone, come attack him. And. Everyone's gonna attack him. And I think we've got this battle going pretty well now. He's getting hurt, but it's fine. Man, I hope I didn't go too far over. Yeah, I think it's fine. I think I can upload this still. And there we go. We won that battle. Honestly, the first time I ever did this battle, I did lose. It was... I was quite confused. And that was about it. Got to level 5 and level 4 on those two. Let's quickly get through this cutscene. Jeez. Alright, let's run to the bridge. We gotta do this quick though. Hurry up! Ah, oh, these take forever. Yep, this is one of those slow first episodes. But it's all cutscenes. Alright, let's see if it can... quickly get down to this. Alright, figure it out. And he just failed miserably. Not very useful. No, I don't want to explain. I gotta hurry this up. God, these cutscenes are so long. It's not even funny. Okay, we took off. Let's try to hurry this up, huh? That looks way different than it did before. And chapter one complete without doing much. Alright, we'll save. Alright, if you liked it, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!